Well, hello and welcome to Auckland First 15 TV School Report for Round 3 of the Unitech 1A Championship. And with me is Grandma Rollboy and Super Rugby stalwart Brent Ward. And Brent, we're already seeing a couple of teams really performing well in this competition. Yes, correct there, Glenn. We've got St Kent's, uh, Kings and Sacred Heart gaining maximum points in the first two rounds. And they've also had Auckland Grammar and Mount Albert chasing those top four slots. Well, St Kent's and Kings, they've already had success on this ground at Kelston Boys, where we're here today for this match against De La Salle College in the match of the round. So coming up, action from this clash and four other games of round three. Four teams look to continue their winning start to the Unitech 1A Championship season. St Kentigan, Sacred Heart, Auckland Grammar and Kings College. And in our live match of the round, a desperate and winless Kelston faced the promising De La Salle College. And here is their side coming out, the De La Salle team, led out by their captain, holding the ball in one handed there, Ben Sa'u. Very solid pack of forwards. We saw them warming up, Brent, didn't we? And there are some big boys in this side. So here come the Kelston boys' side now. They really have. They'll be demanding success after their first couple of performances. Ticking down these last five minutes towards half time now. Iwani. So now to Lafayette. Good burst coming up midfield. We haven't seen many line breaks in this game, but here is a magnificent one. Oh, De La Salle getting close. Just needs support. Oh, this has got a great try. What a wonderful try to De La Salle. It's George Collins. What a five-pointer that is right there. Yeah, some fan fantastic line breaking. Collins shows some great footwork there to beat two or three defenders and score under the post. Oh, the... Uh Scrum was a little untidy for De La Salle that time, but that's an excellent burst upfield by number eight forward, Langa Ia. De La Salle getting close. Oh, it's been cleanly stolen there by Kelston. How on earth did that player get that? Oh, it's charged down. I think it's going to be a second try. It's a second try to De La Salle. Opportunist try has been scored by Brent Tongatia. Well, sometimes it's a cruel game rugby, and I think Kelston a little unlucky on that occasion. Yeah, very unlucky. It was a fantastic turnover, and just trying to clear it away. And uh, yeah, great play there from Tongatia, and he managed to get his get the charge down and, and score a good try. Yeah, it'd be good to see uh, Kelston utilising their outside backs. They've really struggled to get the ball out there today. Penny just takes the tap. Solid tackle coming in on Ezra Vai. Hasn't got the turnover ball as Penny. Decides that dab around that short side. Here's Levi looking for a second try. Back to back weeks. Just a metre or two short. Try! That's a try to Kelston. Well, they needed a score and they've done it. They've kept their life, their hopes of winning this game. Yeah, they were lucky they held onto the ball there for three or four phases, put pressure on, and then eventually they got across the line. Trailing by seven, they need a converted try. Comer, they come to the right. It's Vainga. Who's taken down, sets a nice target. Excellent quick ball as well. Comer has it now. Played on the wing last week, wearing the number eight jersey this week, but he's lost the ball in the tackle. And away come De La Salle. Ioani. Oh, big gap. Yes, offload is through. And away goes the number eight forward, Langaya. Lalo Milo. Now it's a foot race. Has he got the gas? He has. It's a try. Lalo Milo. Great vision from Lalo Milo there. Saw that there was no one back. Put the kick through and chased hard and won the, won the race to the line. A great victory, a hard-fought victory, but uh, you'll be very pleased to take the points here out at Calston. Yeah, I'm uh, very happy with that win, but um, you know, just like every team, we've got a lot to work on. We knew Calston would be a physical side after the two losses they came off, but we knew we couldn't let that affect our game. So, yeah. So, Brenda, a hard-fought battle there between Kelston boys and De La Salle, wasn't it, uh, with De La Salle worthy winners? Yeah, De La Salle had used their strong forward pack, caused crucial turnovers, and it's led to a way to their good tries. So the race is well and truly on for semi-final spots, even as early as round three. Let's have a look now at the highlights from four of the other matches here in round three of the Unitech 1A Championship here on Auckland First 15 TV School Report.
Well, Sacred Heart College sat in third in the Unitec 1A Championship, heading into round three as they hosted Tangaroa College, looking for their first victory of the season. And just three minutes into the match, Locke Hoskins Satutu took a quick tap, and number eight Tuiki Mahoney barged across for the first try of the afternoon. More ill discipline from Tangaroa College allowed Mahoney to take a quick tap himself and scored directly to put Sacred Heart ahead 12 points to nil. And immediately from the kickoff, the ball was taken deep in the Sacred Heart 22, where Sheldon Tavio set off on a run reminiscent of John Kerwin in the 1987 World Cup. The right winger showing a good step, power and speed to score a contender for try of the 1A season. The game had barely restarted when Mahoney and captain Joseph Simpkins combined down the blindside. And winger Melino Hui Hui Uya stormed onto the pass to race away for Sacred Heart's bonus point try before half time. The second stanza began with more solid set piece from the home side. A slick backline move had blindside winger Tavil powering towards his second try. When he was brought down, the Sacred Heart forwards recycled possession and tight head prop Damon Abraham burst over to put Sacred Heart College ahead by 33 points. Oh, that won't stop him. <laughs> As with the first half, Sacred Heart showed a willingness to tap quickly in the hunt for tries and they were rewarded as reserve back Joshua Bavistock dived across for another five pointer. Even when Tangaroa College had possession, Sacred Heart were quick to turn defence into attack. A turnover became a counter-attack as replacement front rower Fatongi Apaya showed powerful leg drive and a deft offload to send second five Zylan Inu across for yet another try. As full time approached, Paya was in damaging mood again, getting the home side on the front foot. The ball spun wide in search of space, where Isaiah Fanganuku brought up the 50 points. Sacred Heart with a perfect start to the season with three bonus point victories. Just wanted to come out early, really firing, uh, get the intensity right up from the, from the start, and we did. Um, we kind of fell off through the middle, but just towards the end, yeah, we got, got it back in. Well, Tahuhu College faced a big task in round three of the Unitec 1A Championship as they welcomed competition leaders St Kennegan College. The visitors racking up 141 points from two big wins, while Otahuhu had yet to register a win. And St Kennegan picked up from where they left off last week, with Wesley Tamiyafuna showing off his trademark fend to get the first seven-pointer of the afternoon to go with the four tries he'd scored in round two. Shortly after, St Kent's halfback Henry Saker fired out a quick pass that allowed Taniella Talea to run in under the sticks and double the score. St Kennegan College looked to attack from inside their own half and it was inspirational captain Dalton Papali who carved a great line through the Otahu College defence. When the number eight was eventually caught, he got away a clever ball to continue the momentum. The visitors looked to capitalise on the stretch defence and it was second five to Leia who pulled off a fantastic Sonny Bill Williams impersonation that allowed his midfield partner Braden Enor to cross unopposed. The competition leaders again attacked from inside their own half. This time it was Enor who turned the Otahuhu backs around with a searching kick. A tricky bounce was collected by Enor who sent Tami Afuna in for St Kennegan's bonus point try. Wesley Tami Afuna had proved himself to be the danger man of the Unitec 1A Championship and used from first receiver, the right winger burst through three tacklers to bring up a first half hat-trick. Next, it was the forwards turn to get in on the act. Jack Marks securing clean line-out ball 
And the St Kennigan forwards executing a perfect rolling maul for Caleb Milne to score. The visitors ahead at half time, 38 points to 6. The second half started with a first left off. Strong set piece producing a simple try for a loose forward. Dalton Papali in for another five pointer. And the tries kept coming. Wesley Tami Afuna crossing for his second quartet of tries in successive weeks as St Kennigan brought up 50 points. The visitors were scoring at will and put together two identical moves off the line out to score in quick succession and move out to a 60 points to 6 lead over Otahuhu College. Reserve halfback Carlos Price went sniping around the fringes, making good ground. And it was giant prop Jerry Summonia who dived over for yet another St Kennigan try. The blue and whites were soon into the 70s, and hooker Fa'a Lafaele rounded out the 13 try romp as St Kennigan dispatched Otahuhu College 79 to 6. A perfect start for St Kent's with three straight bonus point wins. Oh, I think the boys were excited to come out here. Um, we had a bit of payback to give for last year, but um, yeah, credit to, credit to Odahu and um, for the boys working hard this week. Dilworth School have impressed many during their first season in the Unitech 1A Championship with a win and a loss. And in round three, they hosted near neighbours Auckland Grammar. The visitors sat in fourth position with two wins and were quickly into their work four minutes after kickoff as Matt McKenzie attacked down the blind side, brushing off hooker Charles Walter. Auckland Grammar recycled the ball and centre Lokati Manu continued the blindside assault to get the first points on the board. A standout for Auckland Grammar this season is first five wise guy Fayani. And as he did in round two against Tangaroa College, he found his left winger Simeon Latu with a clever kick. The try unconverted, but Auckland Grammar leading Dilworth 10 points to three at the break. The second half began with Auckland Grammar hammering away at Dilworth's line. The forwards muscled their way through seven phases before number eight Patterson Carter went for one last pick and drive, dotting down under the sticks to push the score out to 17-3. One of the many players to impress for Dilworth this season is Isalele Manu, and he had the home side hot on attack in their quest for a first try of the day. Two phases later, it was fellow loose forward Anthony Laval who continued the surge to grab a try for Dilworth, who are now just nine points adrift. It was a wake-up call for the more fancied Auckland Grammar side, and as McKenzie again went on a searching run, he popped the ball inside to Narimu Ruapera to bring up Grammar's bonus point try. With six minutes left on the clock, Auckland Grammar put the result beyond doubt as Carter capitalised on a strong scrum and tiring defence to dot down for his second try. Auckland Grammar continuing their unbeaten run, overpowering Dilworth 29-8. to eight. We have three wins in the back of our pocket is... This year is awesome. And big ups to to Dilworth and and uh, they're making making it up um, to one A. It's been a long time coming for them, and uh, we're stoked that they're yeah that they're finally here. High Flying Kings College put their perfect season on the line when they hosted St Peter's College, a team desperate for a win after opening the Unitech One A Championship with a loss and a draw. The round three clash was a tightly contested encounter with St Peter's leading 10 to 7 after the first 35 minutes. In the second period, Kings were on the hunt for the go-ahead try as flanker Tom Morrison powered towards the line. The ball quickly recycled for fellow loose forward Mills Sunarivi to burst through the St Peter's defence and put the home side ahead 14 to 10. But in the final throws of the match, with the visitors behind by just four points, St Peter's pushed for their first win of the season. Quick hands needed to exploit the overlap, where left winger Noah Mataya dived across for the winning try. St Peter's College getting their season underway with a one-point victory, handing King's College their first loss of the year. Oh, 
that was great, you know. Far last minute, just saw, looked up, saw the space out wide, and uh, this one I think I thought I knew, you know, we'd we'd done that. But yeah, we walked worked hard all season, and things haven't gone our way so far. But you know, it's good to finally come away with the win. So after three weeks, two teams tied atop at the Unitech 1A Championship leaderboard, but high-flying St Kildagan College well ahead of Sacred Heart on points differential. Auckland Grammar, also unbeaten, are in third, while King's College, De La Salle and Mount Albert Grammar are fighting hard for the fourth playoff spot. Well, that's all we can squeeze into week three of the score report. And Brent, how about those results? Yeah, fantastic win there for St Peter's over King's College away from home. They will springboard their season. Yeah, it's certainly going to be interesting to see how they go from there. Well, that's it. Uh, we'll be back next week, though, for round four with our live stream match coming up. It's the Battle of Middlemore, actually, between Otahuhu College. They'll be at King's College next week. So a live stream coming up next Saturday at 2.30. And then on Sunday, we'll have highlights from all the other matches in round four of the Unitech. 1A Championship here on Auckland First 15 TV. Yes, next week on Auckland First 15 TV School Report, we bring you the action from the eagerly awaited top of the table clash between St Kennegan College and Sacred Heart. St Peter's hope to continue their resurgence against Mount Albert Grammar and King's College aim to bounce back from their first loss in our live match of the round against the nearest of neighbours, Otahu College. Hi, I'm Bailey from King's College First 15. We'd like to hear your support on the sideline against our neighbours, Otahu uh, College. Hey, I'm Jacob, um, Otahu Captain First 15 now. I'd like to see you down here to support us as we play against our neighbours, King's College. And if you can't be there, please watch it on Auckland First 15 TV.